wealth, fame, power. The King of the Pirates attained this and everything else the world had to offer, and his dying words drove countless souls to the sea. You want my treasure? You can have it. I left everything I gathered together in one place. You just have to find it. My name is Ingus, and I'm going to become King of the Pirates. The rules are simple. I'm a hardcore Iron Man restricted to ports and islands. Of course, we'll have to make some exceptions to unlock new pirate content. And what kind of pirate story would this be without any buried treasure? Therefore, I can complete clue scrolls as long as they are obtained within the permitted areas. Now for the last rule. I must wear a piece of pirate headgear at all times. This means that I am unable to use the Helm of Natus Knot, the Obsidian Helm and the Set Effect, the Serpentine Helm, the Slayer Helm, and the Void Sets. We'll be unlocking each island or area in roughly this order. As you can see, Apatol will be our last destination, since the questline provides a ton of XP and gives too many advantages early on. Oh, and special shout out to Armored God RS who made this Reddit post, which is where I got the idea for this challenge. Are you ready, kids? Let's plunder some booty. All right, my friends, it is time we evoke, invoke this adventure. Of course, the first step to becoming the king of the pirates is pirate's treasure. I actually haven't done this quest in a long, long time. Bananas in the crate. Ah, oh, look at all these locations. I can go to all those. This is what I'm talking about, boys. You know you're a real pirate when you have a right eye patch. Let's go. So one of the rules for this challenge is that I need to have a pirate item equipped at all times. And this will be what I'm wearing for the majority of it. Oh, I guess we didn't even need to fight the gardener anyways. Alright, I'm gonna sell this gold ring from Pirate's Treasure. This is gonna take a while. 182, what about steel? 650, okay. Let's go with the iron battle axe, may as well. This was probably a big waste of coins, but you know, you live and you, live and you learn. What you know about those free coins? Getting those cooking levels? Yo guys, so this guy sells wine for one GP each. See what we get. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> yes! I will take that. Another load of bronze knives. Got a fresh 500. Time to go train. All right, so I have an idea. Over in this place called Land's End, there is a bear spawn. And I actually need one of those for a druidic ritual. So um, I think it'll be a good place to go, mostly because I'm just getting tired of killing seagulls. And another nice thing about this place is that this is the one of the only banks that I have access to right now. 15 range and a level. And 18 range. 19 range, one more to go. There we go boys, 20 range. Can now left click these guys as well. To be honest, I thought it was much closer. That's a little bit better. Bam. Doubled my stats right there. All right, so last night I decided to do some fishing on mobile just while I was falling asleep, and I ended up getting 20 fishing, 24 cooking. So I'm not sure if this is true, but apparently shrimps heal three, and anchovies only heal one. I don't think I'll need these because I have all the wines, so I'm just going to go ahead and sell most of these. 42,000 maple longbows and, and 23k willow longbows. So the studded body is 850 GP at the store. I'll need another like 450 coins to make it back to Karamja. 
my plan after that is hopefully to go kill some moss giants see if i can get a couple kills hopefully they'll bring in some more cash than pickpocketing men there we go 650 fishing nice 21 fishing to be honest this isn't so bad because i'm almost 25 thieving and actually you need that for a quest requirement later on this is going to be huge check this out studded body pull up the stats so before i came to catherby i had this now can't even wear it because i don't have 20 defense anyways um we are headed back to karamja to see if we can get some kills on the moss giants all right so i just realized we need 10 agility to get to the moss giants so I guess my first step is to actually go do some agility. This is kind of sketch. I have one cooked meat left. Come on. Just got to make it to the bananas and we're safe. Oh, please don't hit me. Come on. Oh, come on. Almost there. This is really sketch. Come on. Oh, thank God. Okay. We are not going to die today. Whew. Okay, so I decided to train up my combat stats first because I'll need 20 defense before I start killing the moss giants anyways. I was at these seagulls, but I've just remembered that we also have access to the beach coast area where the sand crabs are in Zia. That's where we are, and that's a hobgoblin, and I'm gonna run. I don't really have any food, do I? I don't think I'll need these because uh, I have all the wines, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sell most of these really starting to regret selling off all those shrimp that I did earlier because now I don't even have enough food to really pickpocket either so I think what I'm gonna do is head back to Karamja but as you can see a little update I got 20 strength working on attack now and then after attack I'll do some defense so far everything looks good so I've just just checked and I think I actually have a better plan so this one is close to a bank but this spot over here is even closer. Wow, I'm actually surprised there aren't more people fishing here because we, we do have lobsters, sharks, swordfish. All right, we have just finished the fishing grind, leaving us with fishing or 26 fishing and 30 cooking. And this is the food I was able to get. Another random event. Wow, I, this is actually pretty cool. I haven't done these kind of random events in a long, long time. All right, there's 20 attack. Now for the defense. There we go, 20 defense. We are done with the melee grind, I think, um, at least for a little bit. Here it is, folks, studded body. Whew. So much better. Look at that. So before I was at this, which is barely anything. Now, looking pretty boss. Gotta say, looking like a like a pirate. And I almost forgot I have two caskets to open. And the drops from these are pretty sick. You can get some gems, some coins. First one. Whoo! There we go. I got hundred coins. And second one. And a sapphire, not bad. I figure while I'm here, I may as well test out the studded body and get some range levels. Check it out, our favorite random event right here. Gold necklace. Eh, I'll take it, just like a pirate, eh? We're hitting fours with the bronze knives, getting a lot more powerful, there's one. And since I got this studded body and the 20 defense, I have not been taking like any damage, so. This is definitely worth it. Oh, and another thing. So I'm looking at the drop table for the Moss Giants, and there's a lot of good stuff, a lot of cool upgrades for this account. So like Black Square Shield, uh, Steel Med Helm, can't really use that. But Square Shields, Mithril Sword, which would be super sick, which would be a huge upgrade from the, the good old Bronze Skimmy. And Mithril Spear, too as well as some arrows and a magic staff so yeah plus we got herbs runes and seeds so that'll be pretty sweet come on something good 
Ooh, five sapphires. I'll take it. There's two agility. Yeah, so this is gonna take a while. All right, so I found something even better than the rope swing. This wall here doesn't damage you when you get hit. And also, can we talk about how I'm jumping around these lava obstacles with jugs of wine? There we go, boys. 10 agility. And the first drop, wild blood seed. I have this spare iron pickaxe that I'm hoping will sell for a little bit of GP. And it is 56 coins, okay. And the third kill, coins. Fourth kill, steel kite shield, yes. That is gonna be probably my best kite, or my best shield for a little while. Oh yeah, first fashion skate piece right here. Fifth drop, I think it's the fifth drop. Coins again. Blood runes. One blood rune, never mind. <laughs> Another kill. What's the loot? Nope. A 10 prayer, I'll take it. I think we're actually closing in on our, making our first attempt at Ithios the Navigator. Mithril Spear. Mithril Spear. That's um supposed to be rare on the drop table actually. Unfortunately, the spear is two-handed. So I'm not sure how good exactly that is, but might be useful for dragons or something. Or Elvarg, probably. Coins again. 31 range. Pretty low on the bronze knives, so I think I'll have one more kill after this. Steel bar and a mossy key. Um, I don't think we can use that. But it is a 1 in 150 drop, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> Strawberry seed. I think we can actually plant that. Alright, so our first trip to Moss Giants got us 565 bronze knives. Honestly, I don't know if it's worth it this range level, but if we luck out with something, that would be pretty sweet. And our first lesser demon kill, what's it gonna be? <sighs> Coins, okay. Yo, I kid you not, it's been like five minutes since I started killing this. And our second drop, steel skimmy. Hey, not bad. That is a pretty good upgrade from the bronze skimmy, so I will keep that. Very fitting for a pirate as well. You know, I actually forgot that there was a bank on Karamja. All right, it is time to start the Corsair Cursed quest. Now, the moment of truth. Our first boss. Let's go. Maybe I've overprepared a little bit. <laughs> All right, well. And quest complete. Next time on King of the Pirates. So, I will be back. Uh, when I get all this stuff sold. Oh, not good, man. Not good. I don't think I have enough GP to survive this. 